Hey everybody, this is Blue. Well, I wanted to talk about spiritual growth. Um, one of my least favorite people on YouTube has left some comments on my videos and a couple of my friends' videos and has said some negative comments. And I decided that I was going to turn those negative comments into something that was more positive. Okay. Now, this advice that I'm trying to give will work with any religion. So I don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, pagan, um, Satanist. I don't care. This advice could and should help you in growing spiritually for yourself. Now, the first thing is we have to be honest with ourselves and with others about ourselves. Then we have to be honest with other people. Okay. Now this is an ethics problem here. There are a lot of people that are having problems with being honest, especially with themselves. And so they're having problems with spiritual growth. So we have to try to always be honest, first with ourselves and then with others. There is only one exception to this rule that I have for myself, and that is self-preservation. Unfortunately, we have a lot of young people in the pagan um, world that cannot openly express their beliefs because they have a family member or more that are devout Christian and they will turn on that younger person at a moment's notice if they are not following the Christian belief system. And so self-preservation must come first. It sucks if you have to lie because you got to protect yourself, but this is one time where you have really no choice. So, Emily made a couple comments, and so we are going to discuss them and how they are things that we should never do in our belief system about ourselves. Now, the first thing Emily said to my friend, Reverend Victoria, is that she is a fake minister. Uh, my friend Victoria is working on building a ministry, and she is legally viewed as a minister because she is an ordained minister. She went through a service, and she got her ordainship. So, Emily was lying about another person. She was saying that this person is fake. Victoria, because of her ordainship, can, can, can proceed in 47 out of the 50 states and every territory in the United States for marriages. She can perform funerals, she can do christenings, or any other type of event, because she is an ordained minister. And as she applies herself, she's going to be able to do these other events, uh, because she is focusing on these goals. Now, Emily is also lying about herself. You see, roughly a year ago, Emily was following or stating that she was following the Dutch folklore powwow belief system. In it, she decided to declare herself to be a Hexenmeister. Okay. Well, there were no guidelines. She could have been making this all up herself. And so Emily decided after following this belief system, I believe it was for two weeks, that's right, weeks, that she was going to be a Hexenmeister. 
So that was a fake ministry because she never went through the process. So you see, Emily is lying to herself because she is not reflecting on everything that she has said and done and is just ignoring it and throwing it out to attack another person. So she is not being honest with herself. She has, you have to have this foundation. And if you cannot be honest with yourself, if you cannot take the time to work on what needs to be worked on, you cannot advance in your spirituality. Um, in a couple of videos, I talked about Maslow's Pyramid of Needs. Well, being honest with yourself is a foundation piece, and without it, nothing else can grow upon it. So Emily, until she reflects on herself, is not going to grow. And if you are going to lie about your belief system, um, about yourself and about others, you are not going to grow either. So you need to reflect on what you say about yourself to others to grow. Now, Emily has also made the comment um, directed at me and a few of my friends about spreading hate. You see, uh, my friend Zabora at Comedic Witchcraft and myself and a few other people like Azriel are doing videos talking about how the Bible is not a historical document. Well, Emily proclaimed that doing that, I am disproving somebody's scripture, is hateful, is a lie. Now, Zabora, Azrael, and myself are using historical facts, not, not opinions. If you state something is false and you have the facts to back it up, you are telling the truth. And telling the truth is never an attack. Okay. But Emily, of course, is not reflecting upon everything that she said. You see, again, when Emily was practicing her Dutch folklore stuff, she was making videos stating that unless you do magic in the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, that it is satanic and wrong. So she was attacking our belief system, the pagan slash witch community, and she thinks it's all right. Emily has also attacked... Um, Comedic Witchcraft, Zabora, directly by making claims and throwing insults at her. Now, this is about being honest with others. If you cannot be honest with others, you cannot grow. We do not live on an island. We are not isolated. We are part of a community. We are part of this world. And so we have to learn to be honest with others as well. Because of Emily's actions and the comments that she has made, people don't trust her. People do not like her. And you see, I don't like her because I remember the day that she went and she was saying that all of the witches on the YouTube pagan community are fake witches. She wanted to proclaim that she's a true witch, everybody else is fake, and all she has to do is think about it, and she could curse somebody. Now, cursing somebody is an attack. If you are part of the pagan witch communities, you know that cursing somebody is an attack. So, here again, Emily has no problems attacking others, but she refuses to hold herself accountable for her own actions. And if you cannot hold yourself accountable, you are not being true to yourself, and you will not grow spiritually. You cannot, you will not grow. So, 
we have to look at the world and realize that we're a part of it. Life is not easy, and so as soon as you realize it, the easier it gets. You got to expect the bumps, the bruises that come with adventuring out into the world, experiencing the world. But Emily, unfortunately, wants to live in her closed off world. Now, you see, I said that this happened a year ago about the Dutch folklore stuff. But she has been doing this type of thing for a long time now, probably two, three or more years. And so we, here she is. She is not willing to advance herself. She is stuck in a rut. She is refusing to learn. And so her mind is just doing what's coming easy to her. And she's just going to go round and round in circles. Emily has an unfortunate history of changing her belief system. Now she is calling herself an inner faith practitioner, which is fine. But about a month ago, she was proclaiming eco-green paganism. But during that Dutch folklore stage, she denounced paganism. And that brings me to the next point. Not only do we have to be true to ourselves, we have to stick it out for ourselves. We cannot do what feels fine and happy. Sometimes we have to do what is difficult. Sometimes we have to go the long way around to learn. Because there are some things in life that are not easy, but we still have to experience them to grow. Emily will change her belief system and every time she reaches a difficult part because she does not want to put the effort in to advance herself. Now, if you are honest with yourself, about yourself, and honest with others, about yourself and you put forth the effort and the endurance the time you will grow spiritually and isn't that what we all want now we can point out that maybe I'm not being spiritually nice because I am focusing on Emily and that is true to a sense. But we need teachers out there. We need people to give advice. And that's what I'm trying to do. I am going by what I have experienced, what I've seen, and what I see. I am hoping that by giving people the little pieces of advice that I have, that they won't go through the mistakes that I made. Okay. Hate can consume, but hate is a secondary emotion. You hate somebody because of some reason. Um, if you are jealous of somebody, you're mad at somebody because they have a better life than you. You hate them because they have more than you. That's greed, that is jealousy. Those are more primary emotions, but hate is a secondary emotion. So we have to learn to understand our primary emotions and keep them in check so that we do not have hate consume us. There is a difference between shunning darkness and working in it. We have so many light workers out there that tell you to shun negativity, but because they are not working with their negativity, they're not resolving the negativity, they're not growing. Sure, they're focusing on everything that's light and wonderful, but the negativity still remains. It becomes an anchor or a roadblock. Until that negativity is gone, it is going to hold you in place. So we have to learn to 
find out what's wrong and deal with it, face it. And when you get done dealing with it, the negativity is gone. It's no longer holding you in place. And thus you can grow spiritually. I consider myself to be a gray worker. I work in the shadows. There are times where I do the light work, but there are also times that I do have to work in the negativity. I try to stay more positive minded, but I realize that every day I might have to deal with something negative. So I deal with it. I move on. That makes me stronger spiritually and it brings me inner peace. You cannot have inner peace as a light worker shunning negativity because when you look in the mirror look around you the negativity is still there and so you have to worry about the negativity which is in their own mind a negativity and so you have to learn how to deal with life okay so that is my video for right now. Um, please think about what I said. Emily's way of handling her life is not productive. It is counterproductive. She is digging herself a, digger, a deeper and digger, deeper and deeper hole, sorry, and going nowhere fast. We have to learn to be honest, to endure, and to deal with life if we are going to grow spiritually. Thank you for listening to my message and everybody take care. Be at peace.